I made a video about how to study anatomy and it got great response. Many of them were requesting to do the same for physiology and biochemistry. So today, I'm here to make it easy for you. After spending four years in medicine, I understand how things work. This video is not about some fancy advices, but about the practical steps that would help you to tackle these subjects. I'll be discussing biochemistry and I have my friend to guide you through physiology. Before we discuss the individual subjects, I would like to talk about the approach. The approach needed in MBBS is completely different from what you had for NEET or BOTS because the syllabus is very vast and you need to retain this information for the further years of your MBBS. You can follow this 4 steps framework to study these subjects effectively. This is the most crucial step to focus on because resources decide whether you are going to love or hate the subject. Now everyone says to read gold standard textbooks. Yeah, those are amazing books. But you need to understand that it's not possible for everyone to read those because of the time constraints and the language they use. At the end of the day, it's all about how much you can able to understand and retain. If you find textbooks are hard to understand, then go through the video resources first to understand the concepts and then give it a read in the textbook. Even I personally do this because it's very convenient for me to study in that way. Finding resources is a big task. To make it easy for you, I have made a video on resources. You can check that out. We know MBBS textbooks are huge and the information is vast. What you need to understand is not everything is important. You need to read what is necessary. Okay, how do you get to know this? Honestly, this information should come from professors. But most of the times what we get are just PPTs. But don't worry, there are some amazing resources on YouTube. And also you can go through the previous year question papers to figure it out. If you try to remember everything, you'll end up forgetting everything. So work smart. To grasp any concept, you need to give at least three reads. In the first read, your main objective is to get familiar with the terminologies. Here, don't worry about the understanding, just get to know the different terms used in that context. In the second read, focus on understanding the concept. Give a good amount of time to understand it well. In the last read, try to make notes. If it is not feasible, try to at least highlight the important points so that it becomes easy when you revise it next time. I strongly recommend you to watch some videos before reading the textbook. This gives you an overview of the topic and it makes so much sense when you read the textbook later. I'm not gonna lie, revision is the only way to remember things. There's no other magical way to do this. You study, you put your efforts in understanding the concepts, but if you don't revise, it's of no use. So make some time for revision. Biochemistry is the most hated subject. I don't know why, but more than 90% of the students feel this as a boring subject. Honestly, this is one of the easiest subjects if you go with the right approach. In my first internals, I terribly failed in biochemistry. I had got around 28 marks, but later I figured out how to study this subject and by the university exams, I was scoring around 70 marks. So trust me, it's not at all a difficult subject. I'll be discussing under these headings. Let's start with the resources. Vasudevan and Satyanarayan are the best books to understand the concepts. For exams, you can use this book called RM Prasad. This has saved a lot of students, so you can trust this. In the last minute, if you don't have the enough time to study from the main textbook, then use this book. It is very concise and comprehensive. Coming to the online resources, the only resource I know I have used is Dr. Rajesh Jambalkar. His way of explaining is very clear and simple to understand. He has best videos, just watch them. Rot learning is the worst thing to do. We are very particular about things. If you don't know why you are learning something, you'll not find it interesting and definitely after some time, you'll forget that. And one of the best ways is to learn through case scenarios. Usually what we do is, we try to study the concept and then solve case scenarios. But from the next time, go through the cases first. Even if you don't know, it doesn't matter. Try to find out answers for them. By doing this, it makes you curious about the topic and you can learn that with more interest. In revision, we have active and passive revision. What most of us do is passive revision. We just reread the textbook or notes without actually reviewing it. Active revision is very beneficial where you retrieve the information with active involvement. So next time when you are revising it, don't just reread. Try to retrieve the information from memory without actually looking at the textbook or notes. Also, one of the best ways is to discuss with your friends. I have told you this multiple times before, I'll sum it up once again. First, never write in paragraphs, write your answers in points. Second, highlight the keywords. Third, 
If it is very important point, put a cloud or box to it. Especially for biochemistry, draw the flow charts and those cycles. The better you present your answers, the higher marks you will get. Now we have my friend to talk about physiology and i will be continuing with that. Okay, so let's start with the resources. Okay, uh, talking about resources, uh, physiology was my favorite subject when I was in first year. You know, my HOD said, you know, always stick to one book so that you will get the author's point of view of the subject. So my uh, book to go was G.K. Pal. You know, it was a beautifully written book, good English, good understanding. A majority of the subject I covered from G.K. Pal. In starting from my internals, Viva OC, uh, from university examination, everything was completed in G.K. Pal. And sometimes, you know, to make some subjects more understanding and to get in depth, I used to refer uh, uh, Guyton and Hall. You know, I majorly referred it for neurology because neurology was my favorite. So I think Guyton and Hall and GK Pal will help you out in majority of physiology. And these are some online resources. You can go check it. Physiology being one of the important subjects, how should they study this? Oh, definitely, Manoj. Physiology is very important. It will help you in pharmacology and pathology in second year and general medicine in final year. Physiology, in physiology, you learn many mechanisms. You know, mechanisms are very important in pharmacology to know how the drugs act and change the mechanisms. And also in uh, pathology and uh, general medicine. It is very important subject. Uh, to understand or to make uh, any subject easy, uh, two things are important. One, the love to Towards the subject and the way you understand the subject, you know, uh, physiology is that subject uh, which requires hard work from your side. You know, uh, the G.K. Pal and uh, Guyton and Hall, the books which I mentioned, you know, refer it completely. Any doubts in between, refer your uh, college professors; they'll definitely help you out. And also, you can check in the online resources which I mentioned earlier. When you have understanding towards the subject, now you can make that subject smaller into flowcharts. Now, physiology is flowcharts. Every five mark question, every ten mark question will have some or the other flowcharts. Write the flowchart, explain that in detail at last, so that it will be easy for examiner to correct. Physiology, uh, and again, uh, in CNS, uh, there are many neuronal pathways. You know how axon conducts, the pain pathway, the temperature pathway. If you are very versed in the pathways and the flowcharts, uh, I think it's good to go with uh, making the subject easy. Next thing, how to revise this? I mean, we will have the uh, tight schedule in between. So, how do you make to revise? How do you make time to revise? Uh, revising physiology is uh, the easiest, I guess, because once you have already read the book and made a flow chart, understood how it actually works. For example, if you take uh, respiration as one of the example, when you know how you respire, when you know how the steps of inspiration are and how the step of expiration are, your understanding is good and you have a small flow chart. To revise, you can only refer to the flow chart so that uh, your time will be conserved. You know, you'll be not letting your time to get waste in learning the whole mechanism once again. So when your understanding is good, when you are good in making flow chart, having notes, you know, in GK Pal, they also give this, uh, you know, ready-made uh, flow charts of all the chapters. It will have majority of the flow chart. So it will help you out. So revising physiology, I think, is the easiest one. Finally, uh, do you have any tips for them to study consistently? Uh, when you talk about consistency, I remember uh, once uh, my professor said every day dedicating two hours uh, for medicine will uh, help you to get good clarity on the subject. So it can be uh, any subject for that matter, not only physiology, it can be any uh, medical subject. So two hours dedication is must and should, you know, to make your concepts clear. Uh, talking about physiology again, uh, physiology is understanding, you know, it is a long process of understanding what exactly is happening in the body. So for that you need time, for that time you need consistency. So again, consistency matters, you know, once you are done with the subject, one you have, once you have a very good grip over the subject, revision is what matters. So I think that will help you a lot. Your first year subjects are very important as these are basics and you need the knowledge of these subjects for your upcoming years. So be consistent, try to study at least two hours per day and you're good to go. If you found this helpful, please like the video and let me know on what topics you want me to make videos on. Uh, just let me know in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.